Some kids in my neighborhood were skating. I thought they looked really cool. And around the same time, there was a like commercial on MTV or something. I don't know, that was it. Like that kids in the neighborhood and that, that little commercial was just like, like I need to do that, you know? The first time I saw it was out in front of my grandma's house. I was looking at her bay window. These guys skated down the street, and I don't know why, because the street was so rough. I have no idea where they came from. And they had the full, like, like comb over shave on the side, like this sick, like, <laughs> like 89 skate steelo. When I was in fourth grade, I was sixth grader dudes, this kid, Bryson Gill, had a skateboard, and I seen him, like, he was good, dude. He was, like, doing kickflips and shit. I was like, what? Dude, like, I had an old school board. I instantly like saved up my allowance, went and bought. Uh, my first board was a Zorlac board, like a twin tip one. Whatever the older dudes did, you know, they first started throwing uh, nunchucks and Chinese stars. Next thing you know, they had bicycles and also they had skateboards. So whatever they did, we wanted to do. And then uh, as soon as I started skateboarding, that was it. I went to a contest to enter my first contest. And then Neil Blender was there and doing a demo. And as he was getting into his car, I said, excuse me, I don't think there's enough room for you with that board in the car. And he's like, you're right, and threw me the board. And it just... I remember, like, don't let it go, like... My older brother had a board when I was still a toddler. That was probably the first time. Unicycles, hauling up curbs, like whatever crap was around. Skateboarding kind of hung around. <laughs> <laughs>